Hey guys, this is Mark Yo here again and welcome back to my channel. So I hope that you guys are well and safe there. So last Thursday, I actually did a poll on my channel asking what kind of content that you guys want to watch on my channel. So the results are out, okay, as you can see here. So thank you so much for voting guys. So I've got 233 votes here, okay, as you can see. So 64% of you guys actually voted for benchmark tests, okay for the POCO M3 as well as the Redmi 9 by Xiaomi. So as per requested, let's get started. So for this video, I'll be doing Antutu and Geekbench 5 tests only, which are the ones that I'm more familiar with. Okay, so before we start the test, let me give you guys a brief specification overview on the devices that I'll be testing. So for the POCO M3, it has a 6.53 inch full HD plus screen with Snapdragon 662, which is based on 11 nanometer chipset. So it has a octa core CPU, which is clocked at maximum 2.0 gigahertz and Adreno 610 GPU. And the variant of the phone I'm using is the 128 gig storage and the four gig of RAM. So with UFS 2.2 storage. So as for the Redmi 9, it also has a 6.53 inch Full HD Plus screen with MediaTek Helio G80 which is based on 12 nanometer chipset. So it has a octa-core CPU which is clocked at maximum 2.0 GHz also and Mali G52 MC2 GPU. So the variant that I'll be using for this Redmi 9 is actually 32 gig of storage and 3 gig of RAM. So with EMMC 5.1 storage. So before I start the video, I just want to clarify that this is not a contest whatsoever. Okay, these two tests are just reference for phone enthusiasts like you and me to know. So please watch this video with open mind. Yeah? I'll be doing this test with actual real time. So there's no editing or fast forwarding. So it will take few minutes for each test to run. So you guys can choose to enjoy the animation and progress of the test or can just skip to the end for the result. So without further ado, let's get started. So before I start it, I just want to make sure that the background, everything is closed. So let's start with Antutu. One, two, three. One, two, three. The animation and progress seem to be a bit faster on the Redmi 9.
so there's no terracotta test I think for the Redmi 9 on N22 So as you can see here, I mean the Redmi 9 didn't run the Terracotta uh, part of Antutu test. Okay. So you guys guess who will get the higher score? It might surprise you. The scrolling test seemed to be quite smooth for Redmi 9. Still waiting for Poco M3 to reach this stage.
case almost finishing for Redmi 9 So it's a bit faster for Redmi 9 because uh, this phone actually skip the terracotta part. Okay, as you can see here, so the the score is actually 185, uh, 111. Okay, with uh, increment of 4.2 degrees Celsius. Okay, during the test and also 2 percent. Uh, battery drop. So let's wait for the result for the POCO N5. So this test is actually taking longer than expected, more than 5 minutes. So who do you think will get a better score? Almost there. Huh. Which is quite similar, slightly lower than the Redmi 9 okay but if you can see the temperature increment here is only 1.8 degrees Celsius as compared to 4.2 and also only 1% of battery drop so I would say that uh, POCO M3 actually wins uh, uh, by a small margin not bad so let's move on to the next test the Geekbench 5 test so guys, here are the results for the Geekbench 5 test. So for some unknown reason, the test actually was taking too long, more than 20 minutes to actually complete the test. So I actually cut the long-winded portion and sh straight away show you guys the results straight. So there was some false close also in between the test for Redmi 9 and also for the Poco M3. So I had to redo it. So here are the results. So if you can see here the single core score, uh, the actually the Redmi 9 is actually a bit higher at 361, but for the multi score score, um, the, actually the Poco M3 is actually higher at 1334. Okay, so let's move on to the Vulcan score. Okay, so as you can see here, it's actually 464 versus 1129 very huge difference and for the OpenCL 374 versus 1127 that's a huge difference so overall I would say that I mean uh, if you want to compete I would say that Redmi 9 is actually wins by a lot so what do you guys think about the test are you guys surprised so it took me a lot of time to do this test. So hope that you guys like it. So please do subscribe, like and share if you appreciate my efforts. Thank you so much. So until my next video, take care and stay safe guys. Peace.